everybody. Moon in partner's fourth house. What happens when we have this particular overlay in Sinistry? So Sinistry is chart comparison. When we put charts side by side or on top of each other and we can see where the other person's planets fall into our houses and what kind of links, um, aspects we have between the planets. So this is about one thing only. Moon in partner's fourth house, not about how things are aspected or anything else that's going on. So the moon is our emotional responses, our habitual inner nature, how we react to things on an instinctual level. Um, describes the mother, how we choose to nurture ourselves, what makes us feel good, um, filled up. Uh, a lot about our mind be, and our thinking patterns because that as humans is very irrational. It's very much um, dependent on our instincts and our intuitions and our feelings and that's really what makes most of our decisions as human beings. So that's why, you know, Mercury um, describes the rational mind, the left brain mind, and the moon is the instinctual feeling mind and is actually a lot more responsible for the majority of our decisions and our choices in our lives. So the fourth house is the house that originally is ruled by the moon. So it is all about the things that I just described about the moon. And the fourth house specifically describes our very early upbringing and what that was like and the flavor of that and how much or how little nurturing we received, all that good stuff. So when we have somebody's emotional nature coming into another's house of their emotional nature, usually this is actually a really good um, linkage. It's, it's, I'm, I'm a little bit different in that I also see some issues show up with this one. Most astrologers or websites that you go to are going to talk about this one like it's the end all, be all of all sinistric placements. And it's actually not. It has some issues with it. It's actually better to have the sun in the fourth house of another than it is the moon. So, you know, it's a, usually a good placement because there's a lot of shared emotional understanding about the past or where they've come from. Um, home and family, their style of approaching those things, their style of approaching their domestic environment and their intimacy issues, that's pretty similar. There's a lot of being on the same page when it comes to what they want in their home life and how how they go about that, how they um, react within the home. So they they um they they like to spend time together in the home when you see this one. It also has this effect of bringing up some very uh, unconscious competition between um, the two people. There's almost this type of uh, theme of maybe dominance in the home or concern, concerning domestic things. So it's like it brings up a lot of the past for these two people when they have this particular um, overlay. So they do go towards life as a very bonded couple, but there's almost this sibling type rivalry that come up can come up between them. Usually this does not show up as negative. It really gives the two people a charge. They tend to be somewhat competitive and somewhat um, I don't even bratty towards each other about um, wanting to be the best or wanting to be the favorite because there's kind of this unconscious feeling of the other one is somewhat of a parent or brings up those feelings of the parent or the past or the family and so they compete with each other this is really funny. They compete with each other. Do you know why? So they can be each other's favorite. That's really what's at the heart of it. 
And it's just the silliest thing. They want to be each other, the favorite of each other's inner parent. So they get each other in situations where like, oh, really? You can do that? Well, I can do that better. And usually it's very friendly. This is not something that shows up in a, you know, an aggressive way. But it is something that is kind of a theme that is um, experienced um, within the framework of domestic life. And it, it tends to spur them both to um, somewhat vomit up their issues of the past related to the parents or their heritage or things like that. So it's, it's good in that it um, gives them um, a subtle opportunity to revisit those things. And when we can do that, then we can actually, you know, fix it or make it into what it's supposed to be or get some closure. So it's typically a good overlay, but it is funny to see couples that have this one because there's almost a sibling-like um, competition that you can see between the two of them. But usually it's a pretty sweet deal when we've got the moon in the fourth house, but sun in the fourth, oh, awesome. So hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so because it's obviously right there. And you can find me on the internet at truthandaspectastrology.com. Yes, I do private consultation all the time. I specialize in asteroids and planetoids and relationship and intimacy astrology. You can find me on Facebook where you should be finding me because I do the daily astro weather forecast, birthday descriptions, all kinds of articles and writings. So find me over there and I will be back super soon with more super cool videos. Bye-bye.